This video lesson is on the work environment and COSH. It relates to the health and safety unit. Hopefully, after this video, you should be able to answer the quiz at the end. There is a PowerPoint in the document as well, so if you prefer to use a PowerPoint, feel free. Please ensure that you take some notes, which will help with your revision for the end of unit exam. The lesson objectives for this video is so that you can answer questions on workshop cleanliness and COSH. There are three main reasons for keeping your workshop and equipment clean and tidy. One, it makes for a safer place to work. Two, it makes it a better place to work. And three, it gives a better image for your customers. A clean workspace. The workshop and floor should be uncluttered and clean to prevent accidents and fires, as well as maintaining the general appearance. Your workshop reflects your ability as a technician. A tidy workshop equals a tidy mind, which equals a tidy job. See this picture of the workshop at Trident. This is how we expect our workshop to look all the time. Hand tools. Your hand tools should be kept clean as you are working. You will pay a lot of money for your tools, so looking after them will make them last a lot longer and save you a lot of money replacing them in the future. The large equipment in your workshop should only be cleaned by a trained person or a person under supervision. Obvious precautions are to ensure equipment cannot be operated while you are working on it and only use appropriate cleaning methods. For example, would you use a bucket of water or a brush to clean an electric pillar? I hope you would use a brush. Cleaning materials. In a motor vehicle workshop, many different cleaning operations are taken out and many different products are used. It's not possible to mention every brand name, so I've split the material into three different types. It is important to note that the manufacturer's instructions printed on the containers must be followed at all times. Detergents. Detergents are mixed with water for washing vehicles. They are also used in steam cleaners for engine washing. Some industrial detergents are very strong and should not be allowed in contact with your skin. So you must ensure that you wear the correct PPE. Solvents. Solvents are used to wash away and dissolve grease and oil. The best example is the liquid in the degreaser or parts washer, which all workshops will have. Never use solvents such as thinners or fuel because they are highly flammable. You should always wear a PPE, for example, gloves, as many solvents may attack your skin. Many are flammable. The vapor given off can be dangerous and there can be serious problems if splashed in your eyes. Always read the label. Absorbent granules. Absorbent granules mop up oil and other types of spillages. They are used to soak up the spillage and after a short time they can be swept up and disposed of in the correct manner. COSH. COSH stands for Control of Substances Hazardous to Health. It is important to note this down because you will definitely get a question on what COSH stands for. The Control of Substances Hazardous to Health Regulations 2002 is a regulation that all employers must follow. It is there so that the employers must protect employees and other persons from hazards of substances used at work by risk assessment, control of exposure, health surveillance and incident planning. So what are hazardous substances? They are either substances used in work activities, substances generated during work activities or natural occurring substances. Please pause the video here and have a look at the signs on the right hand side of this image. It is important that you take note and you remember what each sign means. With COSH, you must carry out risk assessments. There are no fixed rules on how to carry out a risk assessment, but there are a few general principles that should be followed. Follow the five steps to ensure that your risk assessment is carried out correctly. 1. Identify the hazards. 2. Decide who might be harmed and how. 3. 
Evaluate the risk and decide on a control measure. 4. Record your findings and implement them. 5. Review your assessment and update if necessary. Cosh data that is kept at your workplace should be evaluated once every year or whenever a new substance is being introduced. This is so you can make any necessary amendments. Please make note of this because this will be a question in your exam. So now you've learned about the work environment and COSH and what it stands for, please attempt the quiz underneath this video.